win the MCU box office Thor or Doctor Strange? Thanks, Amanda, for that question. That's a great question. We talk about this quite a bit. It's a coin talk. We talk Flip about it. these things quite a bit. We just did the Sonic and Super Mario one, and we did Doc- we did Doctor Strange and Batman, and I think Doctor Strange is going to make more opening night than the Batman made its entire run based on its, pre- its, its, its ticket sales. Um, this is a great question because I think Doctor Strange is going to make a, b- bananas lo- a banana load of money. I think without the cameos, it's Thor. With the cameos, it's going to be tight. The, the only thing, Steve, I'll start with you. The one thing that, that really kind of makes me feel like I don't know what it is is if Doctor Strange is amazing, Thor is going to be rewarded for that because people will be on a high and they'll go see <laughs> Thor. So mm-hmm. I'm really – the thing with Doctor Strange, though, is if they, like, pull a Wolverine and, you know, everyone gets their Krasinski – oh, God. Uh, you know, if everyone gets all this stuff that's the thing that I think can make Dr. Strange uh, bigger than Thor love and thunder. So I am going to in April nine on April 19th, I'm going to predict Dr. Strange by a hair. Yeah. Like I said, it's a coin toss, flip it, but flip it. <laughs> it's two faces coin toss though. So it's oh, no. yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a gimmick coin. Um, <laughs> I think touching on what you said, the strength of whatever cameos we're going to get in Doctor, because we know they're coming. We know there's going to be something. The, the title implies it. Um, that's going to affect the word of mouth. You know, if people are saying, holy crap, Wolverine's in it. They finally brought in Wolverine. That's going to bring in the people that are on the fence about seeing it right away. Um, whereas I think Thor, I mean, you're going to get some cameos from Guardians of the Galaxy. You're going to get some cameos, but they're, they're not building up to, to those cameos i think thor is going to be more of a fun movie going to be a fun summer blockbuster which is what i want in the summer i'm fine with that um whereas dr strange uh it's neck and neck i'm going to go off dr strange with it. i i agree with you james andrew first of all steve can you hold that coin up to the camera one more time please uh, yeah i got you. <laughs> viewers i just want you to take a second to appreciate our weird <laughs> canadian money it's two colors and it has a bear on it isn't that neat? Ooh. See, this is what we put up with up here. $2. Uh, $2. We got a coin for that. Do you? I don't think so. Um, I I think I, I can agree with you guys here. I think it's going to be super close, but I'm giving the edge to Dr. Strange. And the reason why is that Thor Love and Thunder feels like it is riding the high of Thor Ragnarok. Doctor Strange feels like it is riding the high of Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah. And that was a hell of a high. So I... Back to back. Yeah, exactly. So I feel like this is essentially the second half of this story where the world crumbles around them and the multiverse does whatever it's doing. Uh, It it really does feel like we're watching the second half of that story that the Spider-Man movie started. Whereas the Thor one, as fun as it looks and as much as I'm looking forward to it, really just feels like the next... Taika Waititi Thor movie. Yeah. So that gives Strange just a little bit of an edge um, for, I think, the majority of people. is uh-huh. it's, it's part of that same plot line. And that's the hot plot line right now. It's the hot line, if you will. What? Yeah, I don't think Spider Man's showing up in it anymore for money. But if Spider Man shows yeah. up, it's going to make a billion dollars. Like the minute Spider Man shows up in anything, Spider Man's gonna make a billion dollars. I think I think they've got a really good shot at. Uh, they're gonna have two giant freaking movies coming this summer, mm-hmm. and like I said, if Strange is good, and the cameos are amazing, Thor is going to make more money than it was going to anyway. Um, and I think Thor was gonna make a lot of money to begin with. So it's gonna it's gonna be fun to see. It's gonna be fun to see, especially as. You know, we're still kind of in the pandemic where it's kind of going like this. And it's hard to say what the world's going to feel like in July. Mm-hmm. If, you know, I mean, in Ontario, they might shut us down for July for all I know. But it's going to be funny, fun to see. It's nice to see that people are going back to the theater also. I like that. I like that Sonic made a boatload of money. Yeah. And Fantastic Fantastic Beast apparently is dead. So we'll see. Sonic is a new, Sonic is a new super, is a new Harry Potter, which makes me very happy. 